So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take whatever we have matching and we're going to move it over to below the first item that you have. Yeah, sure. Okay, so we just did this. MSRP. We'll just make up a formula, so we're not going to use MSRP because it's like half blank. Okay, then we have general image. Okay, general image will go... General image goes here. We have description. I'm holding control shift down to scroll like Yeah, that. you know, uh, I remember now, I also had to change a couple images because the product were no longer available. So, you know, when I try to spider to parse, you just return an error. That's fine. Okay, so th we have brand. Yeah, the brands are no problem. We have uh, warning notes. Quantity? I don't know. I don't think you need I didn't to. fill it up. You didn't? It, 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 no, okay. I didn't. Okay. I think it, it was just uh, auto filled up. I had to manually input the item dimensions, everything. I had to manually input that because he didn't take the values from the spreadsheet. And there was a problem also, you know, with the categories and subcategories mixed. Okay, we got page title. I'm going to get rid of Replace all and that's it. Yeah, that I did it. Right now it's clean. Okay. Okay, these are meta keywords. We have Category, subcategory. And I see there's missing. Yep. But game. Those are handbags. That's fine. We have anchor text. You know, I just created a couple categories, and that's it. Because they, they, I think they had this third one, but I, I couldn't find it. So, just left it like that. And okay, brand image we don't need because... Yeah, they are gifts. I know. Whatever, we'll figure out the brand image later. All right, so the last thing we have is we have dimensions. Those are... Packages, you know, their sets. How do you deal with those? Well, we don't really care about dimensions. If it's complicated, we'll just not bother with it. Uh, I thought it was required. Okay. <laughs> so look, the next thing we do is this. I in the tutorial I told you that we need to make the URL. Yeah, in the it's like a, a regular expression or something like that, right? It's no, it's just the pattern the one we use. Okay. All right, the name of the header is, right here, it's uh, checkout rule. Okay. Paste. Okay. Okay. 
So this is this is what it's supposed to look like, and the URL is supposed to go there. Forget about why it's like that. Just it, it, that's how it needs to be. Okay, so we're gonna say that's a syntax, right? The, right. So we're gonna say this equals four. Okay. And this, and this equals four. Then we have b two. And whoops, this and this and this and uh. okay, so we got three, then and we got three and zero. And zero. this and zero. Three zeros, not two. You got two zeros in there. Okay. Okay. So this is what it's supposed to look like. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna scroll it down. Yeah. Oh my god. What do you do? You paste a function or what? What? If you wanna apply all that syntax, you paste a function or what? No, I'm just scrolling the cell down to all the way down. Once we're done with this, we need to go in and we need to just check what we're missing. Okay. And whatever we're missing, we fill that in. And once we are not missing anything that the first row has, which means we matched it up exactly the way the one that was activated, then once we have that, then we can do a full batch update because it should import right in without any problems. Okay. I'm going to save this. I'm going to close this. Save. The reason why I'm closing and saving it is because in CSV, the formula doesn't save. It's going to save as regular text. Oh, yeah. So now when I open it, I'm going to get normal text to work with. All right. So I'm taking this. Yeah. I see. That's it. And I am going to paste it here under checkout rule. Okay. Okay, so now we just transferred everything over, right? Okay. We have line number two, which did activate in, so we just have to copy everything that line number one has into all the other fields. Basically, you triple click on the square. Yeah, okay. Let me see what else we have. We have meta keywords. We have image. We have this, except you said that everything is handbags or some of it. Yeah, luggage. Then what we do is we double, we like select this because this is missing from here, right? Yeah. And we do the triple clicking, except, actually, no, 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 we we have to copy this first, and then do that, so yeah. there is no increment. Okay, checkout rule, you're going to put this one in later, I guess, or we delete it. We don't need it, right, because there's a duplicate in here, then. Yeah. right? Okay, so, again, we copy this over, highlight, triple click. So this is done. Okay, part number. So part number, we're going to fake it. We're going to say this stays the same. So we'll triple click this. But this one, we're going to say we're going to do incremental. Yeah. Right, so each part number will get its own. Yeah. Uh... That's okay. it. Okay, so we did this. We don't need any of this, right? Let's see if anything else is missing. Warning out, there's no warning out in that uh, row, why? 
because you didn't put it in, I'm going to delete this row once once we're okay. done. All right, so price, we're going to basically say everything will be more. So we're going to say AR3 times 100. Let's do 140%. So 40% more, basically. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to say this also goes here. So this, so actually, we're going to keep this the same. Yeah. Okay, so we just did the price for MSRP. Cost, we're going to say that, I mean, it doesn't matter because we're not, we don't know what the cost yeah. is. Yeah. So we'll just say, whatever, since we need to make sure that it's always below web price. Yeah. We'll just say it's AR3. Okay, 0. 0.8. 20%. Okay, fine. So that's the cost. Now the this dimensions we need to uh, whatever. We'll just keep it the same. Doesn't matter. Because okay. we're not selling the products in reality. I know. So that's fine. Okay, that's it. That's that, that's it. You're done. That, that's all you had to do. If it works, great. If it doesn't. <laughs> Of course it's going to work. Why? I mean, the only reason why it wouldn't, wouldn't work because we have dirty data here. Yeah. So now what we do is we click on this, and we're going to say, if you find double dash, replace it with a space instead of a dash. And I'm going to say replace all. We're going to see how many are going to get found. Because double dash is... Uh, so there was 1,155 of them found, which would have caused the problem. Right. I want to also remove everything that has to do with bags by, right? Bag is it bagsby.com? I think. Yeah, bags. Is it ba yeah. bags by, right? I'm gonna just say if you find this, make a space, or no, don't make a space. No, just delete, delete it. it. And free so shipping. Shit, you know. Yeah, but sure. Remember, I'm gonna delete. You have the images. No, I don't, because those images are going to be downloaded. Right, so we just deleted 64,000 bags buys. Dot coms. Then we're going to say find bags buy without the dot com and delete it. Okay, there's nothing found. We're going to delete free shipping. I also see there is some problems with the anchor text. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'll just double check to make sure nothing else is missing. Well, we have main category that's missing, which we need to we need, we need to fix. But what I'm going to do now is I'll just make sure nothing else is missing here. And if it's not, I'm going to delete the first row. I'm going to okay, the, so we're good. I'm going to delete the first row. I'm going to sort the main category now. Where is our main category? I'm going to take the main category. I'm going to move it all the way to the left. Yeah, this, this uh, row was the one and the, the product that's already uploaded, right? Yes, but the reason why I moved this here is because when I do the sort right now, mm -hmm. if I had it all the way to the left where it was, it might have screwed up the spreadsheet. So whenever you do a sort, make sure it's always the very, very left column that, that's getting sorted. Oh, okay. So now I'm going to go here and I'm going to see what's missing. So anything that's missing, I'm going to say that this is then going to be called handbags. Right, hand, hand, bags. Okay, and that's it. No, now I'm actually done. Done. Yeah, you see that more colon. Okay, that's that's the product. The what? You know, Mulholland or something like that. It's uh, you know this brand. They had like uh, seven missing products. They were you know they weren't that. They, they deleted the image. That's fine. If it, whatever doesn't go through, it doesn't go through. It doesn't matter. We only care about what's going to go through. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... Let me move it all the way to the left. I'm going to sort anchor text to make sure there's no corrupt products like missing fields. Okay. Okay, so it looks like everything is pretty much good to go. Now, because we have everything perfect, because we were able to match the entry that was successful and we're able to get everything, you know, the exact same way, the only thing that you need to do right now... Oh, sorry, sorry. One, I forgot one thing. 
I forgot one thing. We need to add um, the, action. the action, correct. The action to do a batch update. So our action is going to it's going to be add. Right. Now, okay, so now we're done. Now the only thing left to do, this spreadsheet is ready for batch update. The only thing that we need to do is just kind of skip through the whole thing, just kind of just run through everything and see if there's any problems. Like this is going to be a problem. Yeah. Strange, uh, right, so we're going to just say, if you find this, just delete it. In fact, I should have just clicked all and, and find yeah, all. And, all the and copyright it. signs, uh, I don't know if it's if it understands. Uh, it's UTF-8, or, or this problem with that, we, you know, the characters. So. Well, the Excel doesn't understand it, because yeah. it's a CSV sheet, it's not Excel sheet. Oh, okay. So there's a few more things that needs to be done. Number one is we want to eliminate the brand name from the anchor text because we don't need it there. It's going to repeat on the website if we have it. So um, we, you know, we had ha we probably have to do this manually, which is not a too big of a deal, but whatever. You just do, you know, three and two space. And we replace it with nothing, you know, so you just have to go through all the brands yeah, and do this. Yeah. Then the, the other thing is we want to, if something is very big, like module, you see this one says module platform case. Yeah. I mean, it's not a big deal because once we get rid of the 511 tactical, it's okay. But like this, this is very big, you see? Yeah. What the hell does this mean? And they, what, what is that? Nine, 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 nine. Oh. Anyway, the, the bottom line is right now everything here is is ready. The only thing you need to do is just kind of skip through it and just double check to make sure there's no like these weird errors, especially on the anchor text. This is very important. Otherwise, it's gonna fail on the batch update. I think 60 or 70 is the limit. I mean, this is the fastest way to do this. It's to add a column, you know, insert a column, and, you know, insert the function len a, len a1, you know, len ar1, and that's it, fill it up. Yeah, it will give you the length of the, each line. You mean just for us to see yeah, how many what's characters the, each. What is it, lan? And, you know, the just the, the column number, you know, between parentheses. Uh, the, just like that, you see, and just paste. It. Right, and then yeah, and then we can just and it gives you and then we can just sort it by yeah. uh, which one, right? And you can also filter the ones that are right. You know, I do it every time. Just right. So we so basically we just have to go all the way to the bottom, and and now yeah. uh, we know which ones are too yeah. big. That's it. Yeah, that's a good. That's a yep. That's good. Okay, yeah, so j keep, try to keep it under 60. Okay. So just so just go through everything, and whatever is over 60, just remove it. And obviously, we want to remove the brands. So maybe a good idea would be remove the brands first. Yeah, and then, sure, and then apply and the then form. Right. Once you're done, just follow the tutorial I gave you for the batch update to upload it. It, it should go through. It should take... I'm not sure how fast it picks it up. It should pick it up every 10 minutes, but the if Nick changed it, because the old setting was, I think, six every six hours it picks up the feed. Okay. But what happens is if everything is perfect, and maybe you want to run 100 feeds, like 100 uh, part numbers through Data Mapper now, once everything is done, just to make sure that there's no problems. Mm -hmm. If there's an image problem, it's okay, because there's nothing we can do about it. But if there's other problems, then it's a problem we need to figure it out. If it's an image problem, then whatever, just leave it alone. Just, you know, right now it's, it's much easier. I need you to change this also. Anything that has this, we should do this as with, like that. Yeah. And then anything that's left with this, it should be and. Yeah. Anyway, just make sure the file is perfectly, perfectly clean. Because the more cleaner we make it now, the higher the chance it will go through the batch update perfectly. And we have no problems... Afterwards, so we will be done with the whole thing. 